Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is John from Programming Knowledge and in this video guys, we're going to discuss another type of loop which is the do while. So from the previous tutorial, we already have discussed the while loop. Okay, and then we implemented a simple iteration program where we could see the value of the variable each of the iteration of our while loop. Now the difference between while loop and do while is that the while loop will try to evaluate first the condition and then if this condition is you know returned true then it will execute the statement inside this particular while loop whereas when we are trying to use the do while loop then the statements inside the loop will you know execute at least once before the condition is being evaluated so the syntax for that is like this. We will just remove this for now. All these lines of the while loop from the previous tutorial. Okay, so this is the format or basic format of the do while statement or do while loop in C. So basically, we have the do keyword and then open and close curly braces and then the statements or group of statements okay now after the curly braces then it will uh, have this the while keyword and then open and close parentheses with the condition inside it so as i've said earlier guys that this particular loop will try to execute at least once before the condition is being evaluated okay so as you can see, if you want to like execute first some statements before you could evaluate the condition. So, so the do while loop is the way to go. So we will try to create another program guys showcasing how this particular do while statement or do while loop looks like or how it works. So basically guys, we could, um, initialize some variables here so for example the n so int n equals 1 and then we could also uh, declare another variable which is times so basically what we are doing here or what we're declaring here is two variables for our uh, do while and the n uh, represents the number or i mean the value of the iteration or the value of the variable each iteration and then of course the times is the number of times the loop should execute okay now inside our do while or do statement we could add a printf statement here and then we could say c do while loops and then the format specifier percent d backslash n and of course uh, the n variable okay so we have this uh, printf statement so basically what what we're trying here is we're trying to display the value of n every um you know execution of this particular statements okay and in here, below the printf statement, we could increment the n by, you know, uh, using this statement, n equals n plus 1. Or you could simply use the n plus plus version of this particular statement. So n equals n plus 1. So again, every iteration, we would try to increment the value of our n plus 1. And then inside here, um, the while and then open close parenthesis, we could add the condition. So for our condition, you could add the n and then less than or equal to the number of times we want this while loop or do while to be, you know, executed. Okay. So I think that's all for this um, do while statement. So we could try to run our program and then uh, build and run and see how this particular program works. Okay, 
So basically guys, I will try to explain it to you how this or how we got this um, output. So from the initial um, value of our n, we have uh, executed the do statement right here. So we printed out like the value is c do y loops then percent t and then the value of our n is 1 okay so after this iteration we um, increment the value of our n by 1 so that's n equals n plus 2 okay or i mean 1 n plus 1 and then the semicolon and then, of course, we will try to evaluate this in our condition. So, 2 is less than or equal to times, which is 5. So, of course, 2 is less than 5. So, that makes sense. And then, it will try to um, execute the statements inside the uh, this curly braces. Okay? Then, print f, c, do, while, loops. And then, of course, it will try to to output the value 2 okay after this the n will be incremented again by 1 so n equals n plus 1 so the value now or the n value now becomes um, 3 and then evaluate it in our uh, open and close parentheses so 3 less than or equal to 5 so obviously 3 is less than 5 so it will try to implement or execute again the statement inside our curly braces and then display 3. This will be the line uh, 3. And then of course it will increment again the value n and it, the n becomes 4 now. And then uh, evaluated once again is 4 less than or equal to 5. So um, basically... 4 is, uh, you know, less than 5. So, it will execute the statement, print f again, display the value 4, and then um, increment again the n, uh, it becomes 5. And then after that, it will try to evaluate the statement is less, or n is less than equal to 5. So, we have set now the value to 5. So, 5 is equal to 5 so it will try to uh, execute the statement once again and the f the 5 value now becomes or the n value now becomes 6 because we try to increment it here so 6 will be evaluated inside our while statement then 6 is less than or equal to 5 so that's basically not true because of course obviously 6 cannot be less than or cannot even be equal to 5 so that's why it will try to end the loop because the condition returns false already okay so that's how the do while statement works and guys make sure that um there's like infinite um, n of your loop because there are cases that you know the condition will not be evaluated uh, into false at some point in our program so that will make it like the infinite loop so the concept of infinite uh, infinite loop so be careful to place a uh, condition here that will try to or like will be evaluated false at some point in our program because you don't want to have the infinite loop because uh, the program will run infinitely and you don't want that it would you know consume the memory of your computer so that's why you you need to be um, careful with the infinite loop so make sure again to add a condition that will be evaluated as false at some point in your program so guys if you have more questions about doing do while please comment down below so I am happy to answer your questions. And guys, in the next video, we're, uh, we're going to try to implement the for loops, uh, the another type of loop in C. Okay, so I think that's it guys for this video and see you in the next video.